Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today's video, I am going to try British sweets. Here in America, we call them candy. Um, today I went to this cute little British market that we have here in our uh, city, or in my city that I live in. Um, it's just a cute little thing. They have British food, um, or different fruit, foods from the UK brought over here. I thought it would be really fun to try all these things because I've never tried them before and I've been really excited to try them. So I decided today I would try them for you. The first thing we are going to try are malt teasers. Um, they look like, to me they look like uh, an equivalent to Whoppers here in America. Um, they look just like malt balls. So, I don't know, let's, let's see if there's like a, doesn't look like there's like a description on it or anything, so let's just dig right in and see what it tastes like. I can get one out. And they're just little malt balls. Yeah, they taste like Whoppers to me. Um, it's a little bit different. The chocolate's much better on these. I actually like these better than I like Whoppers. I will give these an eight, because I'm not a big malt ball person, but I like the chocolate on these ones. So yeah, I'll give these ones an eight. I'll, I'll be rating these from one to 10 on how well I like them. So hopefully they're all above five. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna try is a toffee crisp. Let's see. I kinda like toffee, but we don't have anything like this that I know of here in America. I've never tried anything. And again, it doesn't have any sort of description. I'm just assuming that there's like toffee covered in chocolate. I mean, we might have toffee covered chocolate, but not like a candy bar. I can get it open. That would be grand, Heather. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like a hundred grand bar that we have here in America. <laughs> it's got like caramel and like crunchy cereal bits. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. And I love 100 gram bars. They're my favorite. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. That was delicious. Next thing I'm gonna try is this double decker. Uh, this does have a description on it. It says nougat top and crispy bottom in Cadbury chocolate. So I guess we will see how delicious it is. I was actually kind of afraid of the toffee crisp, but that thing is delicious. Hopefully this one is delicious too. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> I can't get it open. I can't open it. There we go. Okay. Let's, let's try this. Mm. So if you live here in America, you know what a Three Musketeer is. So it's got this Three Musketeer part on the top. Tastes like a Three Musketeer, like the whipped nougat chocolate thing. And it's got like cereal bits on the bottom. Mmm. That's pretty good. 
I'm not a big fan of Three Musketeers. But the chocolate's much better than a Three Musketeer chocolate. Mm. I'll give that a seven. It's not something I would really reach for, but it was still pretty good. So I'm gonna give this, oh, well, I'll give it an eight. We'll give it an eight, because it was still pretty delicious. Next thing I'm gonna try is this Crunchy from Cadbury. Cadbury Crunchy. Um, milky, or milky. Milk chocolate with golden honeycomb center. Mmm, sounds yummy. All right, let's see. The middle is very crunchy. It's very sweet. <laughs> um, that's what the inside looks like. Probably can't see it. Yeah, you can see like it looks like honeycomb inside. It's quite delicious. It's not my favorite. It's kind of it's really really sweet. Like the center is very sweet. Um, I'm gonna rate this a six because it's a little too sweet for me. Next thing we're going to try is this Curly Whirly from Cadbury. Um, there's no description on this one either, so guess we'll just dig right in. Oh, it's broken. I wanted to try to show you it, but it's broken on the top. But it's just like, oh, like swirly, but it's broken. So I guess we'll try this piece. Mmm, there's caramel inside. It's chewy though. Very chewy. <laughs> very chewy um, but it's really good it tastes like um, it tastes like sugar babies or um, oh my goodness what are they called the US equivalent of this it tastes like sugar babies um, there's also another candy it's caramel covered chocolate and I, um, they're really chewy too. I just, I can't think of what it's called right now. This is really delicious. Very chewy, but very delicious. Um, I'm gonna rate this a nine because I enjoyed it. It was quite delicious. Next thing I'm gonna try are these Jaffa cakes. Um, so there's 10 of them in here. They look like they're like cookies or biscuits, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I swear there was a description. Oh, here we go. Golden spongy base with an orange filled jelly center, half coated in plain chocolate. So I guess they're kind of like squishy cakes. I'm kind of scared about this one. So we will see what is inside. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it smells really orangey. I'm not the biggest fan of orange or jelly, especially jelly filled anything. So bear with me. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this or not. No. I mean, it's okay if you like orange and jelly. I just, 
I mean, like you can see the like jelly stuff inside. I, I um, no. I mean, it's all right. I think maybe if you had something with it, like coffee or something. I, um. No, I, I, I mean, they were okay, but just not my. Not my thing. Um, so, yeah, I'll give those... I'll rate that a four. Because, I mean, they weren't terrible, but they weren't good. So, yeah, I think I'll give that a four. Next thing I'm going to try is uh, Flake. Flake. It says the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. Now, I've seen people eat these before so I will see if I like it I know they're crumbly so <laughs> those look pretty cool looks like wood chocolatey wood I know this is gonna fall everywhere so It's actually not as crumbly as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's just pure chocolate. Cause you know, it, yeah, it just tastes like Cadbury chocolate. It's just more airy and more uh, like melt in your mouth kind of chocolate. I'm not like the biggest chocolate fan in the world. I like my sweets better than my chocolate. Um, but, you know, for chocolate it was actually really good. So I'll give this a six and a half. Because it was pretty delicious. Next thing I'm going to try are these round tree fruit pastilles. Pastels? They're just a little packet of candy. Now I'm not 100% sure if these are hard candy or chewy candy. And it doesn't like give a description of what it is. So I guess we'll find out, huh? Got a purple one. Let's see what it tastes like. Again, very chewy. I like those. Chewy. But I like those. They weren't sour, like they had little sugary stuff on them. But they weren't sour or anything. They're actually really sweet and really delicious. Yeah, let's try another one. We'll only bite it half this time. <laughs> Mm. Even the lemon one is good. I don't like lemon. Mm. That's delicious. That was delicious. So for the round tree fruit pastels, I will give it a 9. Because I actually enjoyed them quite. I actually enjoyed them a lot. It was delicious. The next thing I'm going to try is a drink. I am not 100% sure if it is British in any sort of way. It was just in the British market that I went to today. Um, but it's called Apple, Ta Apple Tango. Um, and the lady at the market said that it um, is just like a carbonated apple juice. So I guess we will find out if it's a carbonated apple juice or whatever it may be. Bottoms up. That's exactly what it is. 
It's carbonated apple juice. It's actually really good. Hmm. I like it. Very delicious. I will rate this an eight. Cause it's just apple juice. Pretty good. Last, but definitely not least, I am going to try hula hoops. Uh, it says they are original potato rings. I assume that they're just um, potato chip rings. So let's just dig in. They're like little, little rings. They smell like potato chips. It tastes like baked french fries. Like I feel like I need some ketchup or something. Okay. They're not... Fantastic or anything, but they're pretty good. Uh, they really just take, taste like like baked French fries, crunchy French fries. Um, but they're okay. I'll give these a six. I mean, they didn't have a lot, a whole lot of flavor, um, but they're pretty good. Looks like we did pretty good on the treats today. I said hopefully that they were all under five and there was only one that I didn't really like too much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will definitely see you next week. Bye!